Alrighty dudes, I am making this video once again, you know, this video for, again, you know, for probably the last time about the Satan Grat. And um, this method now is technically, probably by far, is the best and probably the last of these methods to be created and, fi and discovered by many people this time around. And, um, and shout outs to... Uh, to the to a viewer of mine who uh, told me about this, if I remember his name, let's see here, name is Genie Kaz. Thank you for you know telling me about the cure list method, which I did not know existed at all. You know, to rep manipulate RNG like crazy. So and um, now that I knew know about it, I was able to you know read this red post about. A player by the name of LGP, or better yet, Let's Get Pitted. That's the name he goes by on his YouTube channel. Shout out to him too for, you know, discovering this method and uh, making it work. So, after testing this, like, multiple times, I got it to work. And um, the crazy thing is, when you do this one, it has two different scenarios that, that either one of you guys could fall into. And, um, and that depends on your model and the, probably the version of the game, like disc or digital. So like PS4 Pro or PS4 Slim and base model. So that could play a role, but for the most part, it might not. So And for me, I got this to work with two different scenarios, and um, they both work for me. Although they both have two different endings, but which guarantees the Satan Grab. But hey, it works nonetheless. And, um, and so I'm going to show it to you guys in this video on how to set it up first uh, and get going with it. So first things first, we go into new game. And then just to talk about it, you know, about this method and my other video before. Yeah, that now is going to be irrelevant at this point. And uh, this would probably be the better one that will solve everybody's problems about getting the Satan Grot. The speed does not matter. You know, this battle speed does not matter, nor does the turboing and stuff, and also the checks. So this time, this will get the chest to spawn 100% of the time. Yeah, 100%, just to tell you that. And getting the Satan Grot 100% of the time, legitimately. And uh, it this should be a lot faster than any of the other methods up to this point. And it was recently, this, this method was just recently discovered on, I think, what, when the video was posted on July 19th, so just like a day or two ago. And um, I am here gonna put both of these scenarios that he that LGP made uh, found to be in fact um, in this video, so you guys don't have to really go and you know look at his two videos. But you can if you want to. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a link down below on the description down below on his two videos. One with the first sequence, first scenario. One with the second scenario. So. Let's go ahead and begin the game and start it new. So what you want to do here when you to, to set this up is to use a save file, a separate save file at the very beginning of Rex, with Rex and stuff, and uh, which is what um, LGP used in order to get this to work. The death. Although I think you could use any other save file, you know, regardless of who, you just got to understand yeah. what position you are in for the RNG yeah. when you heal. So it's kind of weird, but this is a lot more simpler because of the fact that you don't have to deal with complex numbers. So at the very beginning, you can totally skip everything. And uh, the, the, the best thing is that, um, the thing that I'm gonna warn you is that you will have to skip a lot of mobs. And the only, I think, fights that you won't be able to skip is the, um, the I think the fight with the ship that's coming to you as a boss. And then the one where Bosch leaves you to fight these three men up at the top of the stairs so that's pretty much what you're gonna be doing after doing the, this tutorial stuff so you're gonna be making a save at the crystal right after you finish the three men up top and I'll explain the reason why as well so once we get there that is gonna talk to this man get this started kick him out hurry up boy so this video might not be long, it might be a lot shorter than my other videos, so this will be a lot easier to understand as long as you follow what I say at these points in this video. And I'll also write down the steps, you know, down below on the description too, with the links, you know, to the videos that talk about this method. So 
So after so many testing, I got this to work so many times, and I am happy. Even at different speeds, it works. So that, just to tell you that, it guarantees. And it doesn't matter with any setup too. So if you guys are wondering. So here, this is the first battle. Technically, the first mob that you're going to be skipping, all right? You're going to have to skip this because you don't want your character to level up because one, in the video of L from G LGP's um, yeah, method, he did not, he skipped all of the mob fights except for one, which is the one at the top of the stairs. And also the only fight that he did was the boss fight too. So the re there's a good reason why. Because if you don't skip, you know, the, these little mob battles except for these two, you will level up Rex by accident. And to which you will probably screw your chances of getting these number sequences, these scenario numbers that uh, you're going to have to follow. And I'll explain what those are later on in the video. So pretty much you, you know, let it go. You know, all, your AI companions will do most of the work for you. So just let it go like crazy. You know, go times four to make it faster. And make sure to skip every cutscene you see, and then don't forget to skip these dudes, because there's no point in fighting them. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And then here, once you go in, you're going to pretty much try to find your way to get to the stairs. That's pretty much it. But where the hell am I going? So it don't really matter how things are. So you just pretty much move along the way. And here, yep, pretty much skip, go up here, right? So here's the reason why um, you don't want to stop here because one, you have NPCs here and um, like LGP said in his video, he stated that the, with these NPCs here, this might screw the chances of you getting the sequence to come out right or better yet to get the chest to spawn with these sequences. So the best thing is to skip this spot for one second and pretty much fight these three men so these three men you cannot um, back out of because the game tells you that you can't so you're gonna have to kill these guys regardless whether you like it or not so speed it up if you need to you know to make it quicker to set this whole save file up so there you go you pretty much go back and then now all you do is save so you make the save create a file you know just like this, right? And then, booyah, you just pretty much did the first part of this method. And, uh, which is really easy by far. So, like I said. And then the reason why you want to make sure is to have Rex at level 3 for this method. So, because he'll have at least 130 something HP and 40 something MP. And then his stats wise should be at least, for magic power, should be at 23. So, which should be exactly what everybody should have started off with. So once you have this started off exactly like this, you pretty much quit, go back to the title, load up any save as long as you have the Aerodome available. And also as long as you have the Diamond Armlet equipped on Tavon, this should work. So for example, um, you can the earliest point in the game where you can get the Aerodome available is in the Nalbana, is after the Nalbana prison, after you fight the Mimic Queen, pretty much. And, um, and by that point, Vaughn should be alone. So, and um, pretty much this is the file that you should be loading. But it could be at any point as long as you have the diamond armament. So if you don't have the diamond armament when you have the aerodome, the best way to get it is in trial mode. Although there is another way to get it while while you're in, you know, it, early on in the game too, which is from the Shimmy Horizon d direction in the Western Sands, the area known as Wintray Dunes from that particular spot from um, Shimmer Horizon area, when you go towards that, to the Wind Trace Dunes from that particular section, that should take you to a spot where you fight two Arunes and an Alpha Wolf where the chest spawns the Diamond Armlet immediately. 100% of the time at least. And you'll get it on your first on your first time you open it. And so, but, like I said, there is a better way, which is trial mode here, and I'm going to show you how to get that too to set it up as well. So we pretty much uh, choose a file, doesn't matter which one really. So I'm going to choose the one where I went, where I just got out of the Nalpana prison after fighting Mimic Queen. So you could have done this at any time if you want to get your diamond armlet. So, and uh, 
this should confirm it 100%. Although in this file, I already have it. Because I went to the Windtrace Dune area to get it, so... But, just to show you that you can obtain it through trial mode as well, I will do it here. So you pretty much, you know, yeah, have the trial start. And I have Vaughn alone too, like I said, he's alone. And uh, he has the diamond armlet already equipped, so I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, equip him the, the bangle. And you get to get the diamond armlet up on the, on this, on the left side of this area. Like, let's see here. So you move up here to this area up here, and this is the chest right here. So you pretty much get it, right? See? You get it 100% of the time, right there. And then all you got to do now is just defeat them up to make sure that the auto save saves that you got the diamond armlet. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and finish this mob right now, like we did earlier. And there you go. See, as you see, the game auto saves, right? So you pretty much quit the title, right? Back to the title. And then load that save, that very auto save, with you on, you know, wherever you are. And make sure you teleport to Rabinaster to the Aerodome. And go to the Aerodome and, you know, set this up. Set the auto save at the Sky Ferry. So, this will be very easy. Not too hard to do. And so, once you have it, right? You look at it, right? Like I said, I have a second one already. So, like you said, from the... Um, trial mode which is where I got it from now all you got to do now is just go to the aerodome here and just to tell you this also works on your first flight if you guys are wondering so meaning that at any point in the game if it's your first flight it'll work too if it's your subsequent flights later it'll also work as well so without further ado let's go ahead and get this you know set up so I can show you guys how this really works so, and it doesn't matter what speed you're on, what battle speed, regardless. So just remember, even if it's on active or anything, any setup is fine. So, and then now you just take your flight to Nalbana. And then, you pretty much can skip this cutscene, right? And then, you also can skip this little scene too. If this little scene pops up, don't worry. It should work regardless of this scene ever spawning because it don't matter in my opinion because the save file with Rex is the one where you're going to be using to kind of figure out where you are in the position of the RNG and uh, thanks to LGP you know with these number sequences of using the cure spell this helps fix the RNG to a certain point where when you load your autosave on when you get to the air deck so that air deck autosave when you load in to that save once you load in you're pretty much the chest will be will spawn guaranteed once you check it so now that i got this set up right what you're gonna do right now is quit the game ref to refresh the rng restarting it back from zero so go ahead and restart the game as usual right and then once you do you load up the save with rex in it so i already had this set up a good while back so if you do screw up your autosave, you pretty much have to just reset, uh, just reset up the uh, autosave for the Sky Ferry again for that file. So don't worry. If you already don't have the diamond element, you just gotta go back to trial mode and get it again. So just remember that. So now all you gotta do now is load the game. And uh, pretty much you hit the options menu, go to sort by last updated, and go to the file with Rex in it regardless for me I have three files or four because of the fact that uh yeah I tried to show this to you guys so here we go we're gonna just load up this one which is the latest one right here and I will show you two scenarios so here at this point where when you're using the cure spell there are two sequences of numbers that you want to look for one is 88 97 90 that's the one you guys want to look out for as well and then the second set of numbers you want to look out, depending on where you are placed in the RNG position of the when the game loads you in, because like he said in his video, depending on which PS4 you're on or which version of the game you're on, you could be set up at different points. And um, with these six uh, sequences of numbers that you should look for, determines you getting the chest to spawn and also getting which ender it is that you will have to use in order to work to get the setting route 100% guaranteed. So. The first sequence, like I said, is 88, 97, 90. If you get this to pop up and you get the chest to spawn, you will have to use this ender. Okay? So I'm going to show it to you now. 
So cure, right? You just go ahead and do this, right? And you pretty much what you're gonna look for is 88. Once you get 88 to, to, to pop up once, it should kind of either show a second number. If it shows 97, then you pretty much guaranteed yourself the 90 afterwards. So here you might have to cure a couple times and have to go to the safe crystal a couple times to get the sequence to show up. So here we go. Right? Here's a 90, right? There's nothing, right? And then I think this 92. Yep. So keep going until the 88 pops up. So 87, right? 93. So this does take a while, depending on where you are in the RNG. So 92. 88. There's it. There's 188 right there already. So let's see if we can get a 97. So that means that the 97 ain't gonna happen at all, so it, it didn't work. So if you see a 97 right there, yeah, that doesn't work either. So there's 87, there we go, we ran out of MP, go back. Then go away, just so we don't get you know, caught up by the uh, exclamation mark. So there's an 88 again, that's another one. So keep track of that, and then there's a 97, right? This is gonna guarantee me that 90, so here's the 90. See, like I said, there it is. Now that I got the 90, you pretty much quit the title. Quit the title. You don't have to quit the game, okay? If you do that, you're gonna reset the RNG. So after that, you just load your autosave, which is the one where you are at the Sky Fairy. So, which is on the air deck too. So this will spawn the chests 100%, just to tell you that. I've done this many times. If you don't believe me, do it yourself. Pretty much is what this video is for anyways, to help you guys to get to it. So here we go. So we're gonna go up there, right? So pretty much, you can speed this up if you want to. Since I got the 88, 97, 90, I'm gonna look at the man who is right there walking up the stairs. So I'd assume he already went up once. So this the chest spawned. So you can speed up the process of him going up the stairs. So you watch him go up the stairs at least four times. When he gets to the top of the stairs at least four times, on the fourth time, you press X. This timing is very lenient too. So if you ever think that you, you know, screwed up, trust me. you. You will still get it if he moves towards the left a bit when he gets to the top of the stairs. So it's already twice already that he moved up to the stairs. So I'm going to speed this up a bit. So don't forget, you can speed it up. So here's three. On the fourth time, which is right here, this is where you press X when he gets up to the top of the stairs here. So here we go. The timing is right here. And boom. Like I said, Satan got guaranteed. So that's just the first scenario of numbers. So with the, uh, you know, 88, 97, 90. Now, I'm going to show you guys another scenario that you guys need to look into in case if you guys, you know, don't have the 88, 97, 90 showing up. So, and it doesn't work for you. And if it doesn't work for you, this n other set of numbers should work. And just to show you, yeah, that Vaughn's alone, right? And he has, you know, the diamond armor on. And, you know, my settings are exactly as they are you know speed three you know i even show you on speed one and change it as well so here we're gonna go back right we're gonna do the auto save just to confirm it to show you guys that this still works regardless of what speed and setting you have so as long as you have this auto save here you're good so pretty much what you're gonna do is now uh reset the game quit the game again and um do this so if you got the 88, 97, 90 for the, f for the first time and uh, test it out to see if it works for you. If it doesn't, go ahead and quit the game, do it again. And uh, once you get and get the second set of numbers, which is 97, 94, 95, and you'll see what I mean once I show you the second set of numbers. So for me, I know that the 87, 99, 9, uh, 88, 97, 90, uh, sequence works for me so I'm gonna show you the other second the second sequence of numbers that you should look for as well so this is for those of you who don't get the 88 97 90 sequence of numbers to work so if it doesn't work for you well this this other set of numbers should work for you based on you know whatever you are on the RNG spectrum so here we go
All right, so here we can go ahead and have, you know, Rex do it again, you know, do the healing. So just look out for, you know, the 88, 97, 90. But for me, since this is the second scenario that I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to look out for the 97 instead of the 88. So since he ran out of MP, go ahead and heal. And attach the crystal, come back as usual. So 90, uh, yeah, 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 until we get to that 97. Okay, there's one 97 right there, right? So let's see if a 94 comes up. If it does, that guarantees the A95. Unfortunately, it didn't so because of that 90. So we'll keep going. Whoa, lag. Is it my Elgato going nuts? I think so. Hold on, guys. Oh, okay, there. It fixed itself. That was weird. So go back and heal. Man, weird cheese. So we'll go back and heal again. And see if an, an, eight, an eight, 97 pops up. Oh. So we just keep on doing this until a 97 pops up. So if you guys do see the sequence, the 88, 97, 90 in this in this attempt, uh, that also means that I got it to work too. But the thing is, that I'm gonna disregard that and skip it. So if you guys see that, yeah, I'll show you that the other sequence works too. But there's a 97. I wanted to see a 94. Nope. Doesn't seem like I'm gonna get that 94 just yet. So it seems I got an 88 this time. So if I get a 97 here, like that. I'm gonna get that 90 already, so, but I'm gonna disregard that and skip it and show you the 97, 94, 95 method scenario. So, let's see here. 90, right? So that means I already confirmed the chest to spawn, and which will be have the ending with the man on the stairs to follow with. But, we're skipping that. So here it is, 92, right? 87, we we'll keep on going. This might take me longer because of the fact that uh, I'm actually a lot farther for this sequence to appear. But uh, for the most part, it will appear for me later on. So here we go. 88, yep, yeah, appear it again, but I'm not gonna care. Because I want that 97. Where's my 97, please? Oh, come on, game. Alright, run out of MP. Ninety-seven, okay. Let's see if we get a ninety-four. Nope, got a ninety-five, which is bad. Now oh, there's a ninety-one. Ninety-seven, ooh. Let's see if the next two uh numbers are that. Give me a moment. Got stuff to do. Oh, then go. It's fine. Jesus. Okay, so sorry about that, guys. So we have. We didn't. We have a 94. Okay, there it is. And then here we go. One more. 97. 95. So there it is. That's the sequence you should be looking for. And now, once you get it, you pretty much quit and go to the title. And then load your autosave, right? Your autosave to the Sky Fairy, as usual. And this should work to get the chest to spawn. But the thing is that you have to get this ending differently. This ending with the kit is the only way to have it to work. So I'll show you what it is. And then, um,. But the ending with the uh, the men walking the stairs with this method sh might work. I don't know. I haven't tested it out yet. But you might want to try that out too if you want. But you can if you want to. I tried it out with the kid at hitting the rails, which was this this version. This method is uh, this scenario's uh, ending, and it didn't work on the 88, 97, 90 scenario. So just to tell you that. 
uh, if you were to try the uh, the man for this the the man walking on the stairs four times for this scenario, it probably might not work. I haven't tested it, but you can test it out to tell me later. So here we go here, right? My speed is one two, just to tell you that. And uh, the kid, yeah, he walked up there, so pretty much the chest spawn, like I said, 100 percent. And then here, you're gonna watch the kid hit the rails, because by the time you get up here, the kid is already there at the rails. So you want him to hit the rails again by that point. So pretty much you can speed up the process until he gets near the rails. So right about here, once he stops, there you go. And also, uh, the timing on this is also lenient as the one on the stairs too. So if you screw up, you know the kid's gonna pause there for a good while, so you're gonna get it regardless. So, and there you guys go. This is pretty much how you get, you know, the Satan Grat with both of these scenarios. The reason why I have both of these scenarios on here is because, one, LGP has two videos, and um, that'll make you go watch two videos. Here, I rather, I combined both of those scenarios into this one video to help you guys out to get this right. So, I hope that this video is enough to solve everyone's problems this time around and uh shout outs to Jin Yi Kaz for you know finding it for telling me about this and shout outs to LGP who you know made this method who fi figured this and discovered these scenario numbers that helped out a lot of people and uh I recommend it check out his channel if you want to and uh also comment down below if you guys got it too all right because it's amazing and uh, you can also watch me, you know, live at twitch.tv slash nosemu10, which is where I'm at. So, and uh, feel free to check it out, alright? So, until then, guys, see you later. And get yourself a guaranteed saying rat and 100% chest spawn, too, alright? Laters.